Yeah, we don't want that bit on. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about it. Happy stuff. The happy stuff. Moistness. And these mics are effects or are they actually plugged in? Oh, uh, they're actually plugged in. <laughs> I've Amazing. done them before. I've done them before and the people have had microphones and they've not been plugged into anything. That's just like bands where they have the big fucking cabs and they yeah, don't do anything. Exactly. They're just fucking empty boxes. Yeah. Like Evil Scarecrow did it. Bloodstock. Yeah. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Right, we're ready. We're rolling, aren't we? Shit. Cut we're rolling. Bit. Yeah, we're rolling. Right, it's uh, Muck and Jay here, day three of Beer Mageddon 2014. And I'm here with the boss, Jim Beerman. Hello. Hello, everybody. My voice is going. <laughs> This is going to be quite bizarre. One radio DJ interviewing <laughs> another radio <laughs> DJ yeah. from two different I, 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 I'm, so I'm, I'm, on, I'm nothing to do with the radio tonight. This is all Birmingham, this okay, is. Okay, it's all about the festival, yeah. isn't it? So, yes. uh, yeah, so your third year, your third yeah. sellout, but um, yeah. I hear it was quite a tight sellout this year. It was. I think literally all the festivals have been... It's, sales have been down across the board, and we did really well. Record pre-sales on the early birds up to Christmas, and it just plummeted. And uh, we, we were uh, horses like that. <laughs> Squeegee So ones. it was, but right up to the end, uh, we knew we were close to capacity. And then I got the mail through, you eventually sold out, and it was literally hours before the sales were closing anyway, so was right to the line, but a third sellout festival. Yeah, it's not bad. In in the current climate, um, obviously we heard the news um, just before this one opened that um, another festival's just cancelled. Yep. We've only f- weeks to go, and it, it's so just many. putting downers on everybody that owns festivals. Um, you know, we're doing our first festival next year, and it's it's just like, is it fucking worth doing? You know. You've got a really good location, central of the country. You've got the good setup, That's it. and you've got the reputation now that this is a this is a family festival to come to. So I think you're going to be all right for a few more years. Yeah, I'd say. Well, we actually added more tickets on for this year. Um, so so we did actually increase capacity. Yeah. But I mean, like you look out there, there's still there'll still be people who've bought tickets and not turned up. It always, yeah, that always bizarre, happens, isn't but, it? but you know, they've supported, or don't get they've supported the music, yeah. which is what yeah. counts. You know. um, so, so far for you then, um, good weekend, good band? Absolutely, I've loved every band. Yeah. I really have, I've, every single band that's been on, I've really enjoyed. It's like, can, I, can I bring this guy over? You can bring this, this guy This is in. our um, Lampy, Lampy John, our lights engineer. And he does. Oh, I've met this guy. Yeah, he in fact, does. if you pass him that microphone, you have this one. I love this one over here. Get into the video. And, and you and can the have sweets. a sweetie, yes. Yeah. Oh, sweeties, yeah. I, 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 see, I was going to say one thing. You mentioned we've got the venue, we've got the reputation, we've got the location. We've also got the right team in place. And that is so, so important. When you get the right people, yeah. the right crew, that's what makes a difference. Thank you. He um, does. Well, he wasn't talking about you, he was talking about that seven-year-old who was doing an awesome <laughs> job. He, 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 he's ten, and his ten. name's Cohen. Cohen and yeah. He was absolutely brilliant. I watched him last night at ten years of age. That's not bad to do that kind of lighting, especially to lawnmower death, because that was impossible. <laughs> you know, I, they must have been getting paid by the song last night, mm. because they did... 26, was it their set list? 26? 26. Yeah. I thought there was more than that in the, in the, in yeah. the end. But was, Co- Cohen, who was nine last year, surprisingly... Me. Um, he, he just had a go on the strobes last year, he was just doing the strobes, but this year his, his, his apprenticeship has been going further. Very good, very good. So you even encourage slave labour? Absolutely. I, I like oh, it. Look, look, we, we're training Child, the next generation. Of course no, you are. Next next generation. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that on air? Um, where's Rolf? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no more. Um, Rolf, Uncle, no. Uncle Rolf. Uncle Rolf, yes. Do you know what it is yet? Yes. Do you know what you're getting yet? Yeah. <laughs> Do you no want one, a sweet tea? No 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 <laughs> Can you tell Rolf's been here? Bet little boy. This is, this is Wee Davis. Is that, it's Wee Davis, isn't it? Yeah. It's him. It's he'll, him. he'll just keep coming up and all right. Yeah. Ne- never introduce him to your daughter's best friend. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so um, have you already got plans for next year? Because obviously you've already got tickets on sale yeah, this weekend. Here. So, have you got any sneak previews of who's on next year? I haven't because I haven't actually got any 100% confirmations. Right. And so, if I say it on there, and then it doesn't happen, everyone's going to say, "Beer man, you're a bit of an idiot." Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? That's so, going to be very nice people to say that, aren't they? Really? They, we, we, we have started booking. Next year. Can you whisper it to me? Hang on a second. 
No. <laughs> no way. You should hear who he's got next year. Wow. <laughs> Buy your tickets now. But once again, this is another thing. The tickets are the same price as they were for this year. Yeah. 35 quid. And it's camping as well. You, know, you can't camping get camping weekend. these days for 35 quid. No. And we've got three days of heavy metal with it. We yeah. went last week. Quid they went. They there went going go. to Devon to uh, to camp. So the, there, there you go. <laughs> we, we and we got we we've had it. We put some bands on for you. And you've got granny porn as well. This granny granny and showers. We and showers. we've got a sample. Um, we want you to pick one of these oh, one of these girls. Which, which, one, which one would you one Which one would you do first? I can do them all. Oh, there's Jen. There's Jen. <laughs> I'd, I'd have right. a crack on all of them. Would you? Yeah. OK, well, the phone numbers are on there. It's only 36p a minute, milf. so uh, give them a, a shout. Bargain. Gilf, not milk. Yeah. Gilf. It's granny, isn't it? Gil, gilf. Gilf yeah. sounds like something out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Heather Wood. Hello, Heather Wood. <laughs> Would you have wood? <laughs> She's giving me wood. There you go. Now you know what Mr Beerman does in his spare time. I'm just a dirty old man. Dirty bastard. Dirty old we get the Morris Chevalier. Four oh. little girls get bigger every day. Okay, so, uh, so, so yeah. talk to us a bit about the um, the the Sophie Lancaster weekend this this weekend, isn't it? It's the it uh, is, yeah, it's, it's the, the anniversary of, of seven years. years. A death. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Um, yeah, bye everyone. He's going to go in a bit. Absolutely. Guys, from start getting his lighting. Yeah, you better go and do some bloody work. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's the thing is, he work all yeah. day, start to finish. Take care, guys. But yeah, um, obviously. The way it's worked out, the weekend has fallen on the anniversary yeah. of Seven Lancaster's death, and all the bands. And obviously, it's a huge thing for everyone in the in, the in our community, community, isn't it? Yeah. So all the bands and all the fans out there, they all show the reverence, and you'll see it today. There'll mm-hmm. be so many, you know, dedications. Yeah. There'll be song dedications and the whole lot. And it's it's. it's it's a lovely thing to. It's a horrible thing to have to do, but it happened. I mean, it's a lovely thing that people do. Yeah. Kind of, you know, really show that respect. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. It is going to be. It's it probably going to be a bit emotional. It do, it does. It gets very emotional. You, you'll see. I mean, like you're talking about it now. Yeah. And the hairs on my arms yeah. have just come up. Yeah. You know, because that's just the way it is, and it can proper come up now. Yeah. I mean, I I actually live. I actually live just a few miles from where yeah. it all happened at the time, and on the on the morning after, I was actually riding my motorbike past the park. Yeah. And saw all the police. Didn't know what it was all about. It was so bizarre. Devastating. And so. But, I mean, Terrible, but yeah, I mean, we're all gonna we're all gonna be keeping that in mind today. And uh, the one thing that we hope, her memory will cause some change. Yeah, and people will not be looking at and putting people down for the way they dress, the way they look. Mm-hmm. People will be more tolerant. And at the end of the day, you look, you look at our community, the metal community. You've got everyone, every shape and size, including me with my big belly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just how everyone and everyone's lovely to each other. That's that's how the world should be. If the world was metal, there wouldn't be wars, there yeah. wouldn't be crimes. If the world world was metal, everything would be perfect. But it's if not. If metal was a religion, yeah. You see, if me- metal should be a religion, and then there wouldn't be any of this shite. Yeah. So yeah, we've touched we've touched yeah. on a, a very touchy we subject it, there. We sought world peace. Yes. We just convert the world to metal. You see, this is what you get when you get two radio bosses together, two yeah. very, very brainy, sexy young men. That's, it, that's us, yeah. Yeah, that's I us. Mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, you've you described us perfectly yeah, there. Yeah, I'm reading it off the dummy card <laughs> there. <laughs> or is it a twat card? Yeah, it's a twat <laughs> card. Um, so, right, yeah. Um, just a shout out for uh, what else you What else you got planned? You, you, you're doing gigs at all still? No. Stop that now. This, this is how uh, basically the festival came about. Back in about, I think it was 2008 or 2000, 2008, it was 2008. Yeah, we started putting gigs on, just in a little pub, and um, it grew. And people were coming from all over the place, staying in the hotels, um, costing them a fortune in the hotels and things. And when we got the opportunity to put the festival on, I thought what a great, great opportunity to put the live nights on into one weekend, and let them camp. Yeah. So it saves people money, you know. In the, 35 quid for a ticket, you'd spend that more than that in a night in a travel lodge. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you've got three days of it. So, yeah, we. I keep getting the urge to do another one. 
Yeah. See, the other thing, just in case anyone watching wants to <laughs> buy me a present, it's my birthday on the 20th of December. Uh, 20th of December, presents. But last, last year for my birthday, I am leading on to this. Last year for my birthday, I went to see Lawnmower of Death up in Nottingham. And that was my birthday present to myself. And I had an absolutely great time. But I've not spotted any gigs on for my birthday this year. I know where was one. Where? Uh, Leicester. Resin uh, are playing uh, their Christmas party. And um, I can't remember who's supporting them this year. It's sold out every year for the last five years. That might be the one to go to. It's a very, very good gig. Uh, I DJed there last year and I compared and it was just crazy. Right. Um, That might be the one. So I don't need to do any more live nights now. No, no, you see, well, they're all around. There's another one, it's hard work. It is. Yeah. I mean, we, we've done, we set up uh, an events company, we tried it and we said, you know, it's it's too much work. There's so many it things is. going on. You know, you, your radio station's full time, this yeah. is full time. You know, you'll be, you'll be already talking about and planning next year, the second this is over, you've got, yeah. to, you've got to get on with next year. I'm, I'm think trying to tell myself to have a break, to have a, just a couple of weeks not doing anything Beermageddon related, happen. but I don't think it's going to no, happen. No, it's impossible. I keep saying I'm, I'm, I'm not doing any of the booking, I'm not thinking about it until after. And I still keep it, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm. I was, um, I was talking to you yesterday about um, how the uh, style of the festival goes, and you said it just goes on what happens that year, yeah. changes what goes on the following year. So this year it's extremely metal, but then you've got a punk band yeah. halfway you know, halfway through it. Um, I think it gelled the bow up as well. I mean, that's what just so, yeah, it's, 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 quite, it's quite bizarre. So it's, it's organic. There's no planning. No. On... I, don't, I don't sit down with a battle plan. I don't sit down and say, I want that, that, that. It just, it, it, it evolves. It, it grows on its own. And Yeah. You see, I'm OCD on that. that. Um, we're, when we do ours next year, I'm doing rock and punk one day and then I'm doing metal the next day. So I'm doing them as two separate festivals oh, or two okay. in one. You're, you're, but you're, you're, I'm too you're organised making, with it. And you're making a rod for your own back. No, it, it means people like can this, just it, go for it, one. People can slot in perfectly. So oh, there's another thing that yeah. I do, and um, not many festivals actually do this. A festival will go to a band, all right, you want a slot, you've got a 40 minute slot there. Mm. That's your time slot, that's what. I don't do that. I say to the bands, how long do you want? Yeah. How long is your ideal set length? They say to me, it's an hour. You've got an hour. Very good, they say very to good me, idea. 30 minutes, I've only got 30 minutes worth of 30 minutes. So, and, and that way, because I slot everything in together, yeah. so I couldn't put one on one day because I might have like, you know, yeah, everybody like used an hour. Who wants yeah. an hour? Yeah. So that, that's the way I do it. Yeah, and I mean, one of the things uh, we do is because what what pisses me off the most is everybody calling something a festival when it's an all it's a one day gig, um, and they give each band they they just slot in so many bands and give them twenty minutes. Well, what's the that's fucking the point? point? Well, you the, can't do I anything. I know when the thinking comes on that. I know, or I think I do. And I think, you think, well, like over the weekends, we've got three days, we've only got 20 bands. All right? Yeah. We could easily put 40 bands on. And if I was in the mindset, more bands will put on, more fans will come, more tickets will sell. Yeah. But it doesn't work out it, like that. It doesn't. You've, looked, you've seen the festivals that go under with all these huge, great big lists of bands. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. So I've always said what we've got here, I would never change it. We're not going any bigger than this. Mm-hmm. This is perfect. It's yeah, a perfect yeah. size, perfect amount of people. If we can continue selling this out, it's never it's, that's enough. It's never it? going to change. Yeah. I don't want it. Don't want to be the next big thing. I've not got any ideas above my station. No, no. This is just. But Bloodstock started this big, and you know, look at them. Look at them two weeks ago. They, they wanted Fantastic. to. They wanted to take it forward, though. They looked at it as a business yeah, plan. Yeah, more, I suppose. And Simon will hate me for saying it, but it is a corporate <laughs> strategy. Yeah. And they've they've moved up each year to in you know expand and be bigger. Okay, the only reason I added an extra fifty tickets on this year is because the campsite was a bit empty last year. Yeah, I knew that yeah. so many people didn't come. This is perfect. People have got just enough room. Yeah, it's it's having it's cars next to your tents as well. It's it's yeah. the little things like that brick toilets inside That's that you it, can yeah. go and use and yeah, food, decent food indoors as well. No, so. see, this was, we had major issues last year. We had problems with, food, with the food. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also the beer prices were a bit high. But you look at it now. Food's perfect. We yeah. got the different options inside. Two sixty a point. 
Yeah. Name me one festival where you can go and buy a beer at two sixty a pint. <laughs> you can't, can you? you? Your local pub is more expensive. <laughs> I bet you. Mine is in I use a social, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, right. So yeah, I think we've pretty much covered all oh, the bases. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you've got a little uh, shout to Simon Hall there. So <laughs> he will hate me for that, but I, I didn't. Uh, Simon, I did not mean that in a bad way. He knows. He knows it you. Is, it, is it like a business strategy, and yeah. they're very, they're very good business people, but and they've made a huge success. If, I do love if Bloodstock carries on, it can only do good for our smaller festivals because they're sort of yeah. flying, they're flying the only metal flag. You look at, you look at some of the other festivals. We can't say them because obviously yeah. we do press for them, so I'm, we've got I'm, to be I'm careful. Enough trouble as it is. <laughs> but some of these, some of these more than fifty thousand people festivals yeah. that we have in the UK. They just come up with some bizarre lineups. They don't. Yeah. They don't really give a shit <laughs> at all. Uh, and then it's well, six quid a pint. Again, it, it comes to that corporate strategy. Mm. They've got. They've got to look. See, they're looking how they're going to evolve and they're going to make things better for next year. And they're probably looking right. We've got to go to a new demographic. Um, we can't keep wheeling Iron Maiden yeah, out. Yeah. Hence, Maiden 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 was, uh, you know, that was it had to be done because well, it, somebody was going to do it. So, yeah, that's it. You, 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 you can't keep wheeling out the same people. Yeah. Um, and they, they, they are going to retire at some point. So they've got to try and break these new headliners in and, like, Avenge Seven Falls. Uh, yeah. uh, I quite like them. I'm not going to put Avenged Sevenfold down, and you can come. No, I'm, I, I'm not going to book them right. for here. <laughs> <laughs> but and, and on the I mean, I just want to say on the, in the Bloodstock side, they do an awesome job with Metal to the Masses. Yeah, yeah, that's and, fantastic. And I go to that all the time. Putting you look, I mean, Evil Scarecrow. They were on the main stage of Bloodstock this yeah. year. They've been on the Sophie stage before. Yeah. Um, so the bands are harking. We're playing yeah. in Metal to the Masses who are on the Sophie stage this year. So they're breaking those bands, and, and that's another they way. They know how to, yeah. what, what they need to do in five years' time. Mm. You know, yes, OK, they had some big-name headliners. Those headliners, like Telica and all that, they're not going to be there in five, ten years. Be so gone. you've got no choice but to find these. But I spoke to um, one of the event p people at uh, Sonysphere this year, and I said, what are you going to do when Metallica and I and Maiden retire? Who are you going to put on? Um, you know, where are you going to go? Because you can't keep booking these. And, you know, obviously ACDC's coming next year, that's obvious. Yeah. They're yeah, going to so do Glastonbury and Sonisphere, I think. Uh, although I think Download's got more money. But apart from that, Avenged Sevenfold is one of the first ones I said to him, are you going to put Avenged on? Because yeah. you've got to start bringing something else in. Got, and there's, also come bit, back. there's a lot of people like him. Indeed. And those people buy tickets. Yeah. So that's why they get them in. They really should start listening to the to the fans. I mean, I'm sure people say to you, "Oh, um, you should get this band on next year." Yeah. I'm sure you check them out and think, "Actually, that's a good idea." I, 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 a lot of bands, a lot of the ones that I haven't seen before, um, who are playing this weekend, have come from recommendations and pe yeah. from people saying, "You've got to check these out." And I've checked them out. I've liked them, and they've got booked. You know, yeah. so. I've, I'm approachable. Come and, everyone come and talk. Bands yeah. come and talk to him. Talk to him. Find him. Buy him a pint. I will not bum rape you, I promise. <laughs> Buy him a birthday present on the 20th of December. Yes. <laughs> and you're in. Uh, and don't forget his Christmas presents as well. You might as well stick them in together. Egg presents. Um, but Double rooms. One of, one of my reasons for being here this weekend, apart from coming and having my first experience of this place, um, and obviously doing a little bit of promotion as well and chatting to the band, is... For our festival next year, I'm looking at what you've got because yeah. I, I need some. I want some well, fresh it, ideas yes. for metal. The, for metal day. At the end of the day, we're all here to help each other. Yeah. We're not fighting against each other. We're here to help each other, and if we can help each other, it's only good for the community because all these ones that go under and don't happen, they yeah. they completely ruin people's confidence in new festivals. Yeah. And we're in the th only third year. We're relatively new. Yeah. You know, so a bad year. We don't we don't make any profit from this. No, a bad year would be very bad for us. Luckily, we've had three great sellout years, but yeah. we don't we don't make money from it. No, I mean we we've done three years now, and our first two we lost lots of money. Mm. Um, last year, uh, this year we did a whole free one, so nobody was getting paid, yeah. and there was no ticket price because we said, look, we've got to try and break even yeah. a little bit now. So I mean, it still that's, costs that's us. That's how the Beer Man Presents ones used to work. Yeah, they were free entry, and the bands came along for free. 
yeah, that's that's the way we, we're building up from the start. I mean, the bands that we have at our festivals are going to be bloodstock headliners one day. Yeah, so, that's it. You know, well, um, you have a look. The amount of bands who were here last year played bloodstock this year. Yeah, it's good. So you're a feeder. Uh, that's it. Well, yeah. yeah. But once again, that's good. That's where the whole industry helps each other. Yeah. If people see someone here or at your festival, which is Breaking Bands yours, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's one. Breaking Bands festival. People see them there. They'll go good on my festival. And then Andy Copping goes, hmm, no, Mike Fitz on my little festival. Yeah. I, I, his festival's not that little. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the the whole way um, Evil Scarecrow have moved. Yeah. Three years ago, they were playing to 20 people. Three years ago, they, were, know, my, was, they were my they were your first, first ever headliner. headliner. Yeah. Friday nights, Birmingham, yeah. 2012, Evil Scarecrow. You, you had confidence. We, we've had confidence in them ever since yeah. we first heard them. I saw them in 2011 at um, Hard Rock Hell. Mm. Um, and I was told about. I was told you've got to watch this. Yeah. Watch everybody robot dance. And after that, it was. I followed them around the country. Um, yeah, absolutely. Just went everywhere, and they've now made it. Okay, opening, opening the day, but ten thousand people they opening the, the festival. Biggest, biggest crowds in the entire amazing. festival. Amazing. Yeah. I think next year they've got to go back there. I think they're going to be pulled again for it. They do have a they rule, just, don't they? No, no band, second band back. Yeah, up. but Resin have played two years in a row. Have they? Yeah, they played last year on the acoustic after uh, losing out uh, in the final yeah. of the Metal to the Masses. This year, they won the Metal to the Masses and they got to play acoustic again. So they've done two acoustic uh, years in a row. That's one of the yeah. very few, then. Yeah, there's not many that get that chance to play no, twice in a weekend. Anymore. You, you've got into Come the on, video. then, there's a question now. Yeah. Name a band that's played... Answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, answers on the back of a stamp. <laughs> I was trying to think. There's, OK... Oh, we're going to get Jimmy here now. Oh, we've got him. I think, if I'm correct, there's... Not, I'm not mentioning the Jager stage here, because that's separate, but there's only one band who's played all three stages. Oh. Evil. Oh, right. They've worked their way because, up. Yeah, because they were... I think they were meant to be on the main stage one year. I think it might have been... Uh, when did you know? <laughs> Can't remember what year. And he actually moved to a Sophie tent uh, since then he played, because, of course, they were on the New Blood stage. Mm. Then we were on the main stage, and then he played Soviet. I said, they're the only band to have played all three stages. There we go. Trivial. There we go, see? Right, Jim, uh, i better let you go back to uh, yes. work. I and go um, work. We're going to go and uh, enjoy Onslaught. This is the band I've been waiting to see this weekend. Did you catch them on the tour? No, nope, never seen them. Oh, um, you're moving for them. I know I am. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> gonna be the whole day, once again, full of treats for you. And the other thing is, you bastard. I've got Beer Mageddon song stuck in my head. That is <laughs> beer, beer, one beer fantastic Mageddon, song. Beer, beer, beer uh, Mageddon. You can get it on CD. Profit, um, 50 we've got the profit, CD. Yeah. We've got the CD. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Jason, thank right. you very much. Thanks for mate. chatting to us. Thanks and, for coming uh, down. Thanks to all of you for coming down. We'll let, you, we'll let you know what we think of it at the end of the weekend. Yes, you, you can <laughs> tell me tomorrow morning when my head's sort of like a bit thick and I'm like, ugh. Because I'll, I'll just get drunk tonight. I think we will all get onslaught. drunk tonight. There you go. I just that uh, onslaught of me. Oh, we, yeah, we, we, yeah. We, we, we just... We just Psych healer, he gets me drunk. I don't know why he's... He I'm going to be tricking him some ball spunk today. He's around somewhere. I, don't, I, I saw him yesterday briefly. Mm. He's here. Right, let's, uh, let's call it quits. Cheers Good night, everybody. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, that, that's all I've been...